So I slept around 11.30. I got up at 7.30 in the morning. So that was good. That's my eight hours. Ooh. My eight hours of sleep, so I felt good. We're actually running a pretty big sale now for Shima Ukulele. So when I got up, you know, I made my coffee, took a shower, um, and I checked my email. I had a lot of emails for questions and things like that. So I was doing that. And I don't know, maybe I just, I typed really fast or something, but at around 10, 10 o'clock, I ate a pretty big, I don't know if that's breakfast or lunch. And at around 10.30 or 11, I thought I would take a short nap. And I, I used one of those, you know those eye patches thing, like you put it over your head, it covers your eyes. Um, I normally don't use that, but anyways, I used it. I took a short nap. I must've fell asleep around 11.30. And I woke up at 5.45 in the evening. So I took a really, really long nap. And then I had, I had some stuff I had to do. I had an appointment that evening. So that was pretty crazy. I got a lot of sleep though. I feel good. But um, okay, so anyways, um, get your ukuleles ready because we're gonna do a little bit of ear training and we're gonna go over a song entitled Falling Slowly. Okay, so get you colors ready, let's get started, yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Um, we're going to be learning the song Falling Slowly and we're just going to focus on the chords, okay? So don't even worry about scrum patterns. Um, but this is kind of like ear training where I want you to figure out, you know, what chord needs to go where. So what I did here was I wrote out the options. This whole song is basically C, F, G, and A minor. Okay, not in that order, but those are the four chords you're gonna use for this entire song. Okay, so first, uh, maybe some of you know this song, but let's just listen to it. So I kind of wrote out some over here. So C, this is the verse. students to, I mean, I hear this all the time, they say, oh, I'm tone deaf. 
or I don't have rhythm. But actually, I don't believe anybody's tone deaf. Well, I don't, I don't believe he can be born with perfect pitch, okay? Or I've never met anyone like that yet. But I believe that it could be practiced and it could be taught, okay? And the idea is basically when you hear the right chord, do you know what the right chord will sound like, you know, over the song? And some people don't, and I don't expect anyone to automatically know. Um, but that's what we're going to study. So listen to this. Okay. So the first chord is C. Okay, just see if this sounds right to you. Here we go. Hopefully it sounded right because it was correct. Sorry, every time I touch my computer, my amp, I have a grounding issue. I don't know how to fix that. Anyways, that's what the sound is in case it's bothering you. Okay, so. Okay, so listen to this C chord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play the C chord and hopefully you feel like, oh, that sounds right. I'm going to go to the F chord, oh, that sounds right. I'm going to go to the C chord and you say, oh, that sounds right. Then I'm going to go to, I'll go to, I'll start with the A minor chord and then I'll do the G chord. I'll just work backwards. And you tell me if that sounds right or wrong. Okay? So here we go. So C chord. Chord 
changes, that means it's not G, okay? So it's either C, F, or A minor. So try it out. A minor, and G, and try a chord. See how that sounds to you? If you think it sound, doesn't sound right, then change, try another chord. Okay, go ahead, I'll give you a few seconds. Oh. Yeah, this is a really good practice for you. Okay, practice uh, just kind of working on your ear training. And also, the thing is, because we're in the key of C, and this is just another example of knowledge, um, I'll go into this next time, but because we're in the key of C, there's a whole set of chords that we'll most likely be using. Okay, so that would include C, D minor, E minor, F, G, and A minor. And that's why when we learn chords, these are the chords that I taught you. Okay, now if you were gonna play a song in the key of, let's say, F, now there's a whole set of uh, new chords that you might use. Some are the same, but it'd be like F, uh, G minor, A minor, B flat, C, and D minor. Okay, so, and it's not always, but I would say 95%, 90%, those are the chords you usually use for most of the song. And sometimes they'll throw in these other chords, but we'll get there later. Okay, and this is kind of fun because as your ear starts to get better, um, you know, you can start to figure stuff out and it just, everything kind of changes. You know, it's not about just learning stuff. I think to me, figure, being able to figure things out and work on things on your own, I kind of feel like that's what keeps people wanting to play music forever, okay? So like even for me, I used to perform a lot. Um, ever since we started our company, Shima Ukulele, I haven't been doing any performances because a lot of times, you know, when we do performances, we have to commit so far in advance. But actually my commitment is to our distributors like in Japan or in China, uh, Taiwan. So if they ever tell me, you know, oh Bruce, there's a promotion coming up. We want to promote Shima Ukulele. Can you come? I have to go, right? I can't tell them, oh, sorry, I, I have a gig. You know, so my commitment is more to them. So I haven't been performing a lot for the last year or so, but I still love to play. You know, that's why I do this channel. That's why I still teach because I just, you know, I like to play. All right, so let's go back to this. Let's try it. Okay, A minor, go. F to G A minor and G and G and G and G and G Okay, so hopefully you guys could figure that one out. A minor G F G A minor G F Stay on F Okay, and this last line, this is the chorus I want you to figure this out on your own but I'm going to demonstrate from the A minor. A minor. Take this sinking down. 
copy on your computer. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we do the chorus twice, and the second time we're going to add this again. One, two, three, four. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the chord. So it was. It goes like this. C. Thank you.